fat-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, preservative-free, calorie-free protein bar. And it'll probably be really expensive. What's the point of protein bars anyway? Oh, no, Ryan, you're not supposed to eat the whole thing. You're just supposed to take a little bite and then throw the rest away. That's what everyone else does. <laughs> All right. Hey, so, uh, oh, hey. Nice shirt. You too. Thanks. Bought it right after you, I think. Oh, yeah. Great. Look at this. Are you serious? Same shirt. Didn't you see me leave this morning? No, I didn't. You left before I did. And why didn't get to see your shirt? So this is what's gonna happen if we don't carpool together. We really need to talk about these things before this happens again. We should probably stop shopping in the same place too. I'm not telling you where I'm getting my shirts. Well, it's just whenever you pick up a shirt and I like it, I'm like, I want that shirt too. We do get looks though when we buy the same shirt together at the checkout. Who cares about what people think? I really wish you didn't buy my shirt for me last time. Um, Maybe we should have talked about that. We need to stop shopping together for sure. Yeah. Or we coordinate our clothes. What if we, in our closet, we like set them up so, you know, Monday is the first one, Tuesday is the second one. Organize things mm -hmm. and then... And then come out of the closet together because that's probably what's gonna happen. That's what people are gonna think. We really should stop sharing a closet. We actually. really need to stop living together probably. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, I didn't even notice the last buttonhole when I bought this shirt. Did you notice that too? The horizontal buttonhole? Yeah. Yeah, like the last buttonhole is horizontal and it confuses me because I'm like, it's all vertical all the way down and the last one I struggle with, I don't know what's going on. And what's that about? I don't know. You're sitting there buttoning your shirt and all of a sudden, put it on, buttoning them down. Threw off your one, rhythm, didn't it? Two, it threw off your three. rhythm. Yeah. Almost fell over. Exactly. It throws me completely off. Yeah. It ruins my morning. Yeah. It's the worst. If I had known the last buttonhole was horizontal, I would never have bought it. Horizontal? What's that about? It's very strange. It is very strange. Anyway, this trail mix is ridiculous. Have you seen- Veggie straws! This is what I'm talking about, people! Hey, Ryan. I just wanted to let you know that this health kick you got us on is really awesome. You should be thanking me, sweetheart. Your trail mix selection before was nothing but movie theater, popcorn, and chocolate. Well, I think chocolate has a nice touch, actually. I only eat the chocolates. <laughs> Please, chocolate and trail mix is horrible, right? It's got a point, little Ryan. What, I have a nickname now? Try this trail mix, honey. But be careful. It'll make you fall in love with me. Ooh. Mmm. Uh -oh. This is so good. She can't really taste the difference, I know. What was that? Huh? Hmm? What? Me? I didn't say anything. No, not me. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. You call this work? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, people, let's get rolling. She should be working. Should be. A little Ryan, you lift? No. Well, I mean, I guess a little bit. I, uh, I mean, I did move a, a drink cooler earlier. There's nothing in it, but I mean, so no, no, I don't. I don't lift. What about you? Oh God, no. If I could, I'd pay somebody to lift this coffee. Oh, hey, little Ryan, um, so where are all the women around here? What? I mean... You, you we know have, women, right? Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we, we, we have women here. We have plenty of women here. We have so many women. We're great deal, it's fine. Damn it, Frank. Quiet! Hey, that, uh, lawyer check? I think I'm picking up a vibe on her. No, there's, there's no vibe. She flirts with everybody, so and she's probably not really giving off a particular vibe to you. It's just in general. She's a flirty girl. That's it. I like flirtatious women. Well, she also, uh, she's really mean. You know, she, she yells a lot. Definitely a yeller, that one. Oh, yeller. well, uh, I don't mind when a woman gets a little loud every now and then, you know what I mean? Well, it's just that, you know, I really want to... You know, okay, so there's something you should know about her, and I really don't. And you should probably know because you're thinking you're getting this vibe from her, and you're not. Not getting the vibe. Trust me. She's not, she's not your, she's not your type. I can tell you that right now. She's not going to be the one for you because, uh, well, I don't want to say anything, but you should probably know. Okay, look. She's a lesbian. So, there's that. Sorry. 
Yeah, I think I see that. So don't worry about that. How short? Really? Anybody take pictures? Albert, please hang up. I got, I got to talk to you. I got to go. Look, please do not mention that we cut another character out of the script. I mean, it's one less actor for me to have to deal with. No, it, wait, you guys cut another character on me? You cut so many characters in just the past week. Which one is it now? Uh, just, just that old guy that says all kinds of stuff about, you know, life and whatever. If you cut him out, it doesn't really make sense anymore. Why is Jeff's character going off and trying to fall in love with this girl anymore? He was the one that, like, pushed him to do it. He's the one with all the flashbacks. He's a big part. He's okay. integral to the story. Okay, good. Well, I wanted to add a puppy. A puppy? Audiences love dogs. I mean, we did some research. Oh. Research. Really. What research? We asked Shelly. Damn it. You guys keep doing this with Shelly's research. Fine, okay, look. I actually want to talk to you about Jeff. Oh, is Jeff bothering you again about his character? Asking questions, I hate when he does that. That's why I'm hiding in here. No, no, it's, it's about this trainer guy that he's got hanging around. Hot Ryan? Okay, he doesn't work here, so we don't need to give him the nickname. Okay. Well, you know, Jeff wants to have him around, and it's my job to keep talent happy, even when I don't care. Well, if you want to keep talent happy, what about me? I'm the writer. I mean, uh, technically, I'm talent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You need to write that in the script. I could add it, but I'm sure you guys would just cut it anyway. Great. Got a hot Ryan over here. I'm gonna die, dude, without sugar. I'll let the craft service know not to buy anymore. Jay, let me ask you something. I was just upstairs with Albert and it did not go well. But basically, am I talent? Did I miss something? I, I am talent, right? Why does everyone just have to treat me like a second, well, third class citizen? I don't understand it. What are you asking me? I'm talent, right? You're asking me if you're talent. Did you read the script you wrote? We, of course I did. So what's the question then? I, ju I just want to know if, if I can be considered talent. No! You're not! You're just a guy wasting everybody's time here. That's not even a real problem. What, what are you, talent? Who cares what you are? I have no snacks. That was not me. That was not my fault. I didn't... I you need to quit trying to blame Hot Ryan. It, it was Hot Ryan. It was not Hot Ryan. You did nothing to do to stop it, dude. You did nothing... I told you that was You did nothing to stop that. He's in the way, and obviously he's turning everyone against me. I mean, Laura's barely talking to me anymore, and you think, you're mad at me for this. I didn't do this. This is a, a trainer who came in here and wants to make everybody healthy. The other Ryan's just doing what he does. He's a force of nature. The point is, he's in the way, all right? And he's really getting on my nerves. I really don't understand him, and he's walking around crafty saying, oh, these are no good, these apples are bad. And it's like, apples are apples. Just, why, do, why are there so many different kinds of apples nowadays? He's just bringing all this food, and it's so complicated everything. He's bothering everybody, he's distracting everybody, and you're mad at me. No, I'm just glad we are not gonna go into a 10 minute long conversation about apples. I mean, I just don't think trainers need to be on set. Why, would, why are they bringing trainers you're right, on set? Ridiculous it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Trainer on set. I know. You ridiculous as right. having a writer on set. Without me, a movie doesn't even happen. Writers are important. I gotta be around just in case something comes up. There's like a writing emergency or something. extreme kind of thing. Like, ah, oh, man, know. we just realized none of this story makes sense. Quick, get us the writer, and then you fly in with your tie and your neuroses, and you're like, oh, I'll fix this. Not Hot Ryan, he's right. a fantastic writer. I oh, love yes. the way his ability to put a sentence together. You ever see that? You ever see somebody drown in a horrible character arc? Do you ever see someone die from a boom pole hitting their head? I've, I, I I've would like it, to. I've seen it close to happening. Yeah, oh, it's about to get close to happening. I bet it is. Yes, it is. Man, I miss Hot Ryan so bad right now. Dude. I just don't understand why Lord has to keep talking to him. Here's what I don't understand. Your excessive jealousy, which you seriously need to get over. Oh, it's excessive. Oh my God. Sometimes I think you have a complex and I think you're threatened because oh, Hot complex. Ryan's on Laura. And I think you need to get over your stuff. Because quite frankly, I don't care. No one cares. No one cares. Well, if no one cares, then can we just give him another nickname? So that's what the real problem is, is the name thing. It would be nice. Okay. And I think, you know, we could be more creative about it. I mean... I got one. Okay. I got one. It's really right. creative. Great. We can call him 
talented Ryan. You have a good day. Why don't we call you the second string boom up? How about that? It's like that? That's what you really Ryan, are. we are an hour behind. Can we stop the chit chat, please? What's going on, kids? Oh, hey, you. Nothing, nothing. We're just hanging out, you know. Well, something about no more chit chat. <laughs> I don't know who said that. It wasn't me. I mean, come on, chill out, Ryan. Not you, Ryan. This Ryan, little Ryan. I gotta go make sure Jeff doesn't inhale any more chocolate while I'm gone. <laughs> That's <not> funny. <laughs> You're so funny. Relax, sweetheart. So how's how's the uh, how's the trail mix? Hmm? Um, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Aren't you enjoying the healthier options now? Yeah, I do. I know it's good for me or whatever, but I really want some chocolate. Really? Charlie, how's everything going? Well, if we had a complaint box... It would be full of complaints. I was gonna say it would be full of this health food that you bought us. I don't mean to throw my weight around and my title. Albert, we need our old food back. I don't really care how people feel. If they have a problem with all this, tell them to come and see me. Tag. Well, glad that you mentioned that. I have a little bit of a problem with it. Huh? Yeah, a little bit. You see, I had donuts here last week, and I couldn't help but notice everything remotely like a donut has gone. The bagels? The muffins? What do we got? Bananas? Oh man, this is nothing like a donut at all. Hold on. Yeah. Nothing like a donut at all. Mmm, crappy food. Mm. There we go. That's where it belongs. On the floor. Oh. You see, I had donuts here before. I don't have donuts here anymore. And? You took them all away. What? For this crap. For this health food crap. Huh? Nobody needs this much vitamin C. You know what I need? More women here. Charlie? You don't know what it's like. Sometimes Charlie. I cry myself to sleep. Before they took away all the unhealthy snacks, I snagged a piece of your favorite chocolate. I knew you'd want it. Oh. Really? Thank you, Ryan. Mm -hmm. You're always there to make me happy, aren't you? Well, it's just I. Don't do it! It's full of calories and gives you gas. All right, Laura. I need to talk to you about something. Let's get this out in the open. So what do I need to do to get you to switch sides? Switch sides? <laughs> what? Look, I like dating women. And I like knowing that it's gonna lead somewhere at the end of the night. So why are you a lesbian? What? I I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. Short hair is very in right now, okay? Who said I was a lesbian? <laughs>